Today I'm going to show you how we're going to use SketchUp for Schools to, to draw our acoustic speaker that we've been making in class. So open up SketchUp, you should see your drawings here. Open up the one the, your drawing template. And first thing I'd like you to do is do a save as and give it a new name such as acoustic speaker. If you don't have your default template uh, anymore, you need to go back to the very first video that I showed you to create a new one. Anyway, we'll choose our ATEC 3D modeling folder and we'll click select. All right, my model is based on my sizes. You can change your sizes to suit your acoustic speaker. You don't have to make them the same as mine. Uh, I'm going to make it 300 by 840. Start off, we're going to choose the rectangle tool. Rectangle. It will snap to the corner. Click once. Drag it out. Now notice down this bottom corner our sizes move. So I'm not clicking yet. I'm going to type 140 comma 300. Just enter. That resize me. Push pull tool or we could press P. Click once on our shape. Move the cursor up. Don't click again. Type the, word, uh, type the number 19, press enter. Back to the select tool. So what do we need to do now is we need to select this whole shape because we're going to copy it a number of times. We're going to copy it four times. So the way we can select the whole object is we can drag a box around it. Sometimes that not, that's not possible, but we can do a triple click. So that's three clicks really quickly, and that's selected everything. The Move tool, uh, which is the M button, click once. Now, if you notice at the bottom of the screen there, it's got Control, Toggle, Copy. So if I press Control button, it's made a copy and we'll just place it away from here and do it again hit control and once more hit control and there's our four shapes space bar to go back to the cursor we are going to start with our front piece. So, I know my phone is 80 millimeters wide, so I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of maths here to work out the placement of it here. So you can do the same. Hopefully you guys can see my calculator coming up. 300 was the size of my rectangle that I just drew, minus 80 was the width of my phone. Press equals. Then I'm going to go divide it by 2. 110. I'm going to remember that size. Back to our SketchUp window. This time we're going to use the ruler tool, the tape measure tool. Click on the edge. See how that little... Uh, we get that little red square. That means we're on our edge. So we've got to make sure we click once when we're on the edge. We're going to move this across. We're not going to click again. However, we're going to type the size that we calculated, 110. Press enter. We're going to do the same from this edge. Click once, 110, press enter. And we're going to do from the top edge. I'm going to do mine 50 down. That's where my phone's going to sit. Once we've got that marked out, we're going to hit our line tool and 
we're going to draw a line where these lines intersect. So notice we get the uh, get the little X to show intersection. Don't click until you see that X. Click again. Click again and click again. We can use the erase tool to get rid of these by clicking on them or dragging over them. All right, back to the tape measure tool, or I could press T. So I've just hit T on the keyboard. Again, from this edge, but this time we're gonna go 50. From this edge, 50, enter. And from this edge, 50, and press enter. So a series of inter intersecting lines. Now the circle tool, that will be over here or we could press C on the keyboard. Uh, we can place this circle anywhere, but we do want it on the intersection of those lines. So once you find the intersection, click. Move the cursor out, and we're gonna do it at a radius. Notice down the bottom right corner, it's set as a radius, a radius of 30, and press Enter. We'll do the same over here, these are a little sound holes. That's automatically snapped the 30 for me. If it didn't, I could have typed 30 and pressed enter. Done. We can erase. So E for the eraser tool. We'll erase these dotted lines. Okay, push-pull tool. So we're going to push this down. So I'm going to click once. I'm going to move the cursor down this direction. Now, sometimes it's going to be a bit hard to tell how far to push or pull. So I've only clicked once, and then I'm going to put my cursor at this bottom edge. That means I'm going to pull that down level with the bottom edge, which will, of course, remove that section. Same for the holes. Click, then click on the bottom edge. Click click on the bottom edge. If you can't see your bottom edge, you'll have to orbit. Now to orbit, I'm using the middle mouse button. You guys should know that already. Spacebar, back to the select tool. We're going to select this component only. Triple click. And we're going to make it a component. Call this the front. Click OK. We can uh, apply uh, some shading to this front piece. So, uh, materials over here on the right. Now if we we click on this, the browse button, and we go down until we find the wood, and we find a colour that we like. Click on it, and uh, it will automatically select the paint bucket, click, and it will paint it that colour. Now, that doesn't look a lot like timber, so what we can do on this materials page, we go to click this little home button, and there's our material there. If I click on that, it's now selected up here, and I click the edit material, we're actually going to, if we change some of these sizes, it will look more like wood grain. But first we have to unlink the aspect ratio. So we click that. And I usually just find it easier. Delete the decimal place and let's move it across one. Press enter. And that's looking a bit more like wood grain. And you can see that up here. And click done. Right, I'm going to save that because that's the end of this video. The next video I'll show you how to do the next couple of pieces.